Hello students, welcome back to Programming in C Language. Myself Srikant. We are discussing computer fundamentals. That to be in the previous session, we discussed in detail about various input to devices, right? So if you missed the session, kindly go through the below link. Okay. So today we try to discuss very interesting topic in computer fundamentals is what? output to devices with suitable examples okay so in the previous session we discussed various input to devices in detail so in the today's session we try to discuss about what what is output output devices what are the various output devices are available in the market and what are their functionality and suitable examples okay yeah see what is this output to device the device that produce output or result after processing of data values are called as output device see we know how to give some data instructions through what input devices see once data is going to be given to the computer internally stores in a memory area after that it processing and it gives output information to the end users with the help of what output to devices so in this session first we'll discuss output devices in the later sessions we try to discuss in detail about what control unit and memory unit okay fine see what is this output device it produces output or result after processing of data values are called as output to device see an output to device is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into what human readable form see it can be what any kind of data either text graphics audio and video see several examples are there vdu is the best example for what output device visual display unit okay like monitors printer graphic output devices plotters speakers speech synthesizer like these are all the various examples for what output devices see basically it categorized by two types one is called soft copy another called what hard copy see what is a soft copy a type of output that is available to the user till the computer is what switched on okay this output goes off as soon as we switch off our computer see until unless the computer is switched on okay switch on that we can able to read that output information with the help of what some soft copy output devices like like computer monitor and speakers okay see what is soft copy simply you can remember a soft copy is a type of output that is available to the user till the computer is what switched on okay see if you go with any uh, working environment they may use the words like soft copy and a hard copy okay don't get confused okay here the best example is what again it classified furtherly computer monitors and uh, speakers we'll discuss one by one what is this computer monitor see a monitor sometimes called as vdu visual display unit is a soft copy output device that produces output in the form of a picture on the screen okay the data may be what i, I already explained right data may be what in the form of text images audio video okay any kind of meaningful data it going to be produced or process data it going to be displays it is just like a television screen usually used to see programs on a computer okay see in we'll discuss in practically when you return some program as a instruction after process that after process that instruction it may gives output as information in what output window we'll discuss and we'll see in the next coming sessions see monitor is the display screen of a computer where we can read that output information we can read directly through what monitor see some differences between a monitor and a television is that monitor does not have a television tuner to change the channel see suppose if you add any tv tuner card that time you can also able to access the tv into the monitor a monitor may be used to watch television when when it is connected to a device called television tuner card simply we can call t 
TV tuner card. See the monitor immediately displays the text and graphics as you create them and reflect changes to them as you perform. Okay. See, this is about what monitor. Simply, you can remember the monitor. Whatever the processed data after processing the data, that information is going to be displayed in the form of what soft copy in the VDU. The monitor immediately displays what text graphics as you create them and reflect changes to them as you perform. See, different types of displays are there. Like in monitors, one is called monochrome, another called colored monitors. See what is this monochrome? Mono means what? Single, right? Yes. It displays basically. It consists of what? Only two colors. One is called white, another called black. Okay, that's what we can call it is monochrome. Either it may be white and black combination. One for the foreground and one for the background. Okay. Generally, black and white, right? In olden days, we also use the word black and white TVs like that, right? Yes, monochrome means it consists only foreground displays one color, background displays as one color. Generally, it is what in the form of what black and white combination, or green and black, or amber and black, and so on. In case of colored monitors, is a display device capable of displaying what many colors, multi colors. The color monitors can display anywhere from 16 to over 1 million different colors. See this RGB color model by using three different phosphors that appear. Combination of what RGB. Always remember red, green, blue. These multi colors are going to be displayed based on this combination of what RGB. Red, green, and blue. It is going to be activated. See by using this phosphors directly next to each other and activating them with what different intensities. These color monitors can create an unlimited number of colors based on what combination of RGB. Red, green. blue okay we can call it is colored monitors best examples are rgb monitors see coming to the different kinds of displays like cga is nothing but color graphic adapter okay what is this cga cga was an early ibm video adapter that had the highest resolution of around 640 into 200 and ega ega is nothing but what enhanced graphics adapter see it was manufactured by ibm in 1984 ega is a video standard with a high resolution 614 to 350 and it offers more colors when compared to what earlier standards next vga video graphics array see it is a popular display standard developed by ibm around 1987 see it provides 640 into 480 resolution color display screen see this vga capability is built in into what plug in video cards vga chips and monitors that can work with what vga card that's what we can call vga is what video graphics array the another kind of displays is what svga super video graphics array svga is a set of video standards that is one sleep one step above vga svga monitors are capable of displaying up to what 16 million colors with a resolution of what 800 into 600 okay see and uh, some monitors like 200 into 1600 resolutions on uh, different monitors so these are all what different kinds of displays see these modern monitors are going to be used what colored monitors in previous olden days they used the monitors what monochrome monitors it consists only one for foreground color another called background color generally we use uh, black and white colors but nowadays what are the modern monitors all used what colored monitors combination of what rgb red green and blue and coming to the different types of monitors are available in the market like crt monitors cathode ray tube crt stands for what cathode ray tube lcd monitors we may call liquid crystal display tft monitors thin film transistor led monitors light emitting diode fpd monitors flat panel display oled organic light emitting diode oled or organic led 
PDP plasma display panels. These are all what different types of monitors are available in the market. Okay, we'll discuss some major monitors. Yeah, coming to the CRT monitor. See, just only I told you the abbreviation. CRT stands for what? Cathode ray tube. See, these monitors that uses cathode ray tube for what? producing the output are known as CRT monitors. See in CRT monitors, a cathode ray tube is used as what? Picture tube of the monitor. See in CRT monitors, cathode ray tubes are glass vacuum tubes into which an electron gun, electron gun emits a flow of electron trans guided by an electrical field towards a screen covered in small phosphorescent elements okay the screen of this tube is divided into what set of rows and columns so the intersection of rows and columns makes a cell and that cell is called a pixel we may call it what pixel see the number of pixels per unit area of the screen is called resolution see more the resolution more clarity will be the picture the image seen on the monitor screen is made up of thousands of pixels see the distance between individual pixel is called dot pitch what we can call it is dot pitch the CRT monitors comes around generally 15 inches 21 inches sizes okay even larger also the screens are measured always remember how these screens are going to be measured the screens are measured what diagonally okay it's going to be measured what diagonally see this is the best example you can able to see here everyone able to see right see this is about what CRT monitor how it, the this screen is going to be measured in the form of what diagonally it going to be measured how internally it going to be yeah see this is going to be what in the form of what rows and columns so see this is about what here some points are there right yes see this is what we can call it what pixels so what we can call it is what pixels so see, just only I told the screen of this tube is what divided into what rows and columns the intersection see this is the intersection of what rows and columns okay makes a what one cell that cell is called what pixel so once we are making this rows and columns this making what one cell okay it's called as what pixel we may call it okay simply remember in the CRT monitors internally uses what electron gun okay say I, I am going to be providing in detail explanation regarding this one okay yeah I hope you clear right everyone is familiar about this CRT monitors okay see observe I'm providing detailed explanation about the CRT see observe how it works see generally in this much of detail not required in computer fundamentals but anyhow I'm giving some idea how this CRT is going to be working see this is about pins, external pins. The power, the power supply comes from here. This is about what base. Okay, here heater is there. See what is this heater here? See CRT is a device which converts what electron, electrical signals. Here it converts electrical signals like voltage or current into what visual signals. Okay, from electrical signals into what? Yeah, visual signals. See once this heater is going to be generate heat okay see it going to be generate what electrons here you can able to see these are all what electrons it going to be generate what or it emits what electrons when it gets heated up by heater okay once heated up by heater it going to be generate what several electrons see these electrons once generated these electrons moves in any direction right see i want to make it a particular path and a particular uh, direction then it going to be used as what here some uh, pre accelerating node grid uh, focusing anode accelerating nodes uh, anode is going to be used you try to maintain one particular path to that electron where should it going to be move okay so if you are not given these these electrons are going to be move anywhere within this uh, uh, Aquada coating okay within this aquada coating wherever it going to be most okay you need to maintain one constant speed and particular path then we are using here what grid see this grid focuses what and pass electron beam at what high speed one particular speed it going to be maintains again it consists what pre accelerating anode see this pre accelerating anode focusing anode accelerating anode it provides what 
path here are three things are there pre accelerating anode focusing anode accelerating anode these three things are going to be provides what particular path to that electron okay see after that after that you can able to observe here vertical deflection plate is there okay two vertical deflection plates is there what this vertical deflection plate it deflects electron beam in what upward and downward direction on the screen so using this this electron is most what upward direction or downward direction that makes helps what vertical deflection plates using this vertical deflection plates we can uh, it can move that electrons in what upward direction or downward direction so if you observe another one is there here horizontal plates you can able to see these two are what horizontal deflection plates see using this horizontal deflection plates it deflects electron beam in what right and left direction it moves in what right and left directions okay in case suppose this electron is going to be missed it came out of this speed and path then here upward coating is there right so this is what upward coating here it maintains what if elect if electron comes out of their path okay then it replaces them and helps electron to come to again what focusing path okay if any electron is misses again it sends to what in the particular path that done by what upward coating okay see this screen is what coated with what phosphorus you can able to see this is about what phosphorus screen it is going to be coated with what phosphorus see internally it uses some metal used in what screen as of zinc sulfate zinc tungsten zinc oxides like that internally use some metals okay see this cathode is of what nickel and cylindrical coated with what oxides see simply you need to remember once it going to be touches that electron to this phosphorus then it going to be reflecting what some image or pictures to the end users this is a basic functionality and how it going to be functioning working principles i explained about what crt cathode ray tube see this much of depth not required in the computer fundamentals so if you are another subject is there like uh, computer graphics or if you are electronic students or physics students there they may explain in detail about all these components of crt okay up to here it is fair then fair enough about what how this crt is going to be working and functioning with the electron gun remember here electron gun is nothing but what it is combination of what these heater cathode grid okay all these pre accelerating anode focusing anode accelerating anodes all these comes under what electron gun okay you need to remember this much thing here about crt is coming to the lcd monitor what is the second type of monitor here lcd monitor see so these monitors which uses what liquid crystals the name only clearly telling about what liquid crystal display so instead of they are using electron gun and instead of using that phosphorus internally it going to be uses what here liquid crystal display for what producing the image are known as what lcd monitors so in case of cathode ray tube is larger in size so it cannot be fitted in what small sized computers like laptops okay best example see you, you try to fit this crt monitor into the laptops is not good right we cannot be portable it is very difficult to fit for what lcd led laptops okay so instead of this crt they are going to be attached what lcd flat okay liquid crystal display monitor see the main advantage of lcd monitor is that they take up less disk space lighter in weight and safer to human eyes and also it is what portable in nature see the lcd is use only one third to one of the electricity of their crt counterparts comparing to crt lcd is going to be uses what the electrical energy consumption is what very less see it is also available in the market like 15 inches 21 inches even larger in size so at present you can observe in the real world environment instead of crts they may use what lcd monitors okay see how it is going to be functioning just i given here some basic example here backlight is there from that here some polarizer is there sir what is this front polarizer rear pol polarizer how it functioning you don't bother that much here just observe here some polarizer is there from that light is going to be emits common common uh, here it going to be what electrodes are there 
from there it moves to liquid crystal when it is off it cannot be in a altered okay it going to be there in some unaltered manner okay when it is on this liquid crystal is going to be there that is going to be maintained what on particular order okay just you need to remember it how this lcd is going to be functioning comparing to what crt monitors see these lcds are used uh, like a screen of laptops tablets smartphones and so on everywhere we are using see this is also what output to device lcd monitors also what output to device next tft monitor so what is this tft monitor tft also called what thin film transistors so what we can call tft also called what thin film transistor screen see is commonly used where interchangeably with the lcd monitors okay so simply i can tell it is an advance of what lcd but there is a some slight difference between the two the tft screens for the computer monitors are also used in what lcd screens okay simply we can call it is an upgrading of the technology that is being used in the computer the tft monitors are usually used in what laptops they are much more sensitive than the lcd monitors tfts are basically a modern version of what lcds see this is the resolution is concerned comparing to lcd what tft monitor tft lcd monitors what better resolutions the benefits of a tft monitor is a what separate like tiny transistors for each pixel on the display because each transistor is what so small the amount of charge needed to control it is also what small the display gets what refreshed several times per second ensuring what great visual clarity comparatively what lcd a tft monitor delivers what crisp crisp text vibrant colors and an improved response time for multimedia applications so in other days tft has been used not only for tvs and computer monitors but also for what mobile phone devices navigation systems projectors and some other personal devices such as mp3 players and everywhere okay so this tft monitors what simply can remember it is an upgrading of what uh, lcd it has a high resolution and vibrant colors comparing to what lcd monitors don't worry in coming slides i will uh, giving a much clarity how this lcd tft leds are going to be arranged through diagrammatically okay next about led see what is this led light emitting diode see this led monitor is an improved version of what lcd monitors it also has a flat panel display and uses what liquid crystal display technology like the lcd monitor the backlighting is produced by what led but in lcd they produces what fluorescent lamps but coming to led internally it uses what led bulbs light emitting diodes it is more power efficient thinner than what lcd more accurate colors are going to be generated see in the modern electronic devices such as mobile phones led tvs laptops and computer screens are prefer for led monitors okay see what is the differences of this lcd led and tft just try to look out here this is a backlight okay from the backlight here led is going to be arranged led backlight is there in case of led okay and uh, polarizer is there this is called front polarizer after that thin film transistor tft it is going to be arranged with set of what transistors so small transistors are arranged after that lcd is there liquid crystal in that uh, liquid crystal that component is going to be make it on and off based on this light okay after that here rgb just only i told right multi colored based on this combination of rgb red green blue it going to be generate what multi colors okay after that polarized filter is there and it going to be displays what the picture see this is the flow of what from backlight to what the front screen okay internally they are going to be arranged what led backlights tft thin film transistors lcd crystals okay so these are all what improved version of what lcd like tft and led so this is about different types of monitors are available in the market see the next kind of output device is what screen image projector 
or multimedia projector see this is screen image projector or multimedia projector is an output device which is used to project information from a computer onto a large screen large screen so that it can be simultaneously viewed by a large group of people so you know very well when when i want to give a demo for the within a classroom students like one student two student fair enough for monitor but when i want to give a demo for what thousands of students then it cannot able to be in a single monitor right then i that time i go with what projector for presenting the slides explaining these topics okay so projector mainly used for what projection purpose okay is an output device that projects an image audio video information into the large surface area such as a white screen or wall it may be used on alternate to a monitor or television when showing video or images to a what a large group of people so this output device is very useful for making what presentations to a group of people with the direct use of a computer see before such an output device was available the contents of a presentation were prepared using a computer the presentation material was then printed on a printer see the printouts was next reproduced on overhead projector transparency sheets by using a copy machine okay and finally the presentation was made by using an overhead projector special marker pens and to be used for making what certain portions of the content on the transparency sheets during the presentation see a screen image projector generally simplifies this job correct or not it can be directly plugged to a computer system and the presenter can make a presentation to a what group of people by projecting the presentation material one after another on a large screen with the help of what computers input devices okay so best example like monitor screen image projectors provides a temporary soft copy output it also comes under what an soft copy output but temporary soft copy output once the computer is switched off automatically it going to be close the data okay information see these are available market uh, various kinds of projectors like banq canon casio crest epson yeah hitachi like these are all various branded projectors are available in the market see it's mainly used for making what presentations to a group of people with the direct use of a computer okay so this is about what different types of monitors we had discussed in detail okay so another kind of output device is there speaker is also comes under what soft copy so speaker also produces what soft copy output in the form of uh, sounds okay see so speakers are used to play what sound in computers they may built in or externally concern to a what your system speakers are used to play what sounds in computers they receive audio input from the computer sound cards and produces what audio output in the form of what sound waves speakers allow user to listen to music and hear sound effects and spoken text using what computer okay see computer speakers range widely in quality and in a price okay the computer speakers typically packed with the computer systems are small plastic and have average sound quality some computer speakers have equalization features such as a bass and a terrible con uh, treble controls okay a personal computer generally contains what 200 to 500 watt speakers which can produce sound output for a small room within a room or within the range it going to be produce if you go with the larger areas or bigger areas amplified speakers woofer systems are going to be used okay several examples of speakers like subwoofer full range speakers mid range speakers tweeter woofer horn loud speakers transmission lines loud, loud speakers like various different types of loud speakers are available okay so these are all what various computer output devices okay so what we had discussed so in this session we discussed about 
what is output device generally it consists of soft copy and hard copy in this session we discuss completely about soft copy okay what we can touch and we cannot touch and feel it that comes under what soft copy so in the next session we'll discuss in detail about hard copy okay the soft copy basically computer monitors projectors speakers are the best examples see it consists different types of displays like monochrome single colors black and white like colored monitors rgb combinations different kinds of displays like cga ega vga svga these are all video adapters and different types of monitors we discussed in detail crt monitors lcd monitors tft monitors led monitors fpd monitors oled monitors pdp monitors and the workflow of both the crt monitors lcd monitors tft led okay how it going to be working working principles about what this is crt lcd led tft monitors okay and projectors with the speakers so these are all the best examples of what output the devices okay yes that's it for today's session guys if you clear about all these output devices soft copies okay if you like my video make it like if you're not subscribed kindly subscribe my videos for more updates okay thank you all thank you for watching my videos thank you so much